Hi, my name is Molly Kern, and I'm an engineer at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Today, I'm going to read our new book, Where the Weird Things Are, an Ocean Twilight Zone adventure with the character Miso, based on a real deep-sea robot, Mesobot, which I helped design and build. A voice wakes me up, ready to go, and then I'm lifted into the air and lowered into something cold and wet. Good luck, little one, another voice calls as I start to sink. Down, down, down. It's getting colder and darker, and I can barely see anything anymore. Where am I? What am I doing here? I don't even know who I am. All I know is that I feel completely alone. But wait! Something is glowing in the distance. A strange creature floats towards me and peers at me with one yellow eye. Oh, hello, I say. I noticed your lights. I have lights, too. We could be related, like long-lost twins or something. Highly unlikely, the creature replies. I'm the amazing strawberry squid. I shimmer, I shine, I dazzle, I dance. It comes closer, staring at me with its other eye, which is small and blue. Whoa! Weird, I gasp. Nonsense. I am beautiful. Ask anyone. Well, anyone I don't eat, that is. But you look nothing like a strawberry squid, I'm afraid. In fact, you're kind of weird yourself, the squid says, jetting off. Weird? Me? Just then, I feel something wrapping itself around my legs. What is that? Shh! Warns the blob clinging to my legs. There are predators everywhere, just waiting to eat you. Who, me? I ask. The blob nods solemnly. But if you stick with me, you'll be safe. We atolla jellyfish have an alarm system. Look! Its whole body suddenly flashes bright blue. Ooh, let me try, I say, squeezing my eyes tight to make my lights flash. Anything, I ask, opening one eye. Nope, nada, nothing, the Atolla says. What kind of jellyfish did you say you were again? Suddenly, there's a flicker of movement in the water. Look out, the jellyfish shouts, flashing brightly. Wait, I cry, but it's too late. The jellyfish is already gone. Swoosh! A gigantic creature rushes by, sending me spinning. Hey! I yell. Sorry, the creature says. But I'm in a hurry to catch some tasty squid. Oh, can I come too? Not a good idea, the creature replies. We swordfish work alone. Ah, oh, why doesn't anyone want to hang out with me? I ask. Maybe I'm just too weird. Weird. Try having a sword for a nose, the swordfish calls, racing off. I try to keep up, but it's gone in a flash. I stop, completely lost and alone again. What now? Just then, I feel something slippery on me. Don't mind us, we're just tidying up, says a blob-like creature as it slides by. We're Salps, a.k.a. the Ocean Cleanup Gang. We clean the water by eating and pooping. Nice to meet you, I reply. I'm, well, I'm not sure who I am. That's weird, says the boss out. Why don't you hop on and join us? Just watch out for the poop. We've had a big lunch. All of a sudden, I spot a huge dark cloud coming right for us. What's that? I ask, trembling. That's the krill squad, the boss salp says. Come on, team. This patch of ocean's not big enough for the both of us. I try to follow the salps, but before long, I'm surrounded by thousands of tiny creatures with beady little eyes. Attention, one of them bellows. You there, look lively. Who, me? I ask. But I'm not one of you. 
At least I don't think I am. Well, you sure don't look like a krill, the creature barks. But if you're gonna hang around, in these waters you need to get in formation. Lots of enemies out there, whales, seals, birds, all waiting to gobble us up. We've got to stick together. Safety in numbers. But there's only one of me, I say. Suddenly, a terrifying set of fangs lunges out of the darkness. I start to warn the krill, but they're already spiraling away. Snap! Oh, my teeth! A creature yells. Your shell is so hard! So are your fangs, I say with a smile. Sorry, the creature says, looking a little ashamed. I'm a fang tooth, by the way. Hey, want to see my party trick? The fang tooth opens its jaws wide, showing two rows of needle-sharp teeth. Then it clamps its mouth shut again, hiding them completely. The fangtooth laughs. What's your party trick? I don't have one, I sigh. Uh, that's weird, the fangtooth says with a shrug. Just then, something swims by. Oh, lunch! Chomp! I have to look away, and then when I turn back, the fangtooth is gone. There seems to be something special about everyone down here, except for me. Hey, what's tickling me? I shout, spinning around. Whatever it is, it has a body that seems to stretch on forever. No, wait! It's actually hundreds of small creatures all joined together. We're a siphonophore, the longest organism around, one of them says proudly. Try saying that with a mouthful of crustaceans, another says with a giggle. Some of us are even longer than a blue whale, adds a third. Wow, I say. Room for one more on board? Sorry, too risky, the siphonophore says, slowly twisting away. We may be big, but we're fragile. You might break our chain. Great. I'm too weird even for a siphonophore. Just then, I spot a glow in the distance. It gets closer and closer until it lights up the sharpest, spiniest teeth I have ever seen. Fangtooth, is that you? I ask, hopefully. Nope, I'm an anglerfish, a kind voice answers. Who are you? I don't know, I sigh. I'm not fast. I can't glow. I don't have a squad or fangs. Even my light is boring compared to yours. I'm just weird. The anglerfish chuckles and shines its light directly on me. Down here, everyone is different, but everyone belongs. We're all a little weird, and that's a good thing. So weird is good, I ask? The anglerfish smiles. Of course! Imagine if we were all the same. Now that would be boring. Just then, I feel myself rising upward through the water. Up, 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 up. I blink as I hear a voice. Mezzo safely on deck! The voice shouts. Mezzo? Is that me? I wonder, feeling a little dazed? Time to get the schools to join online, the voice says. I bet they can't wait to see what Mezzo found in the weird and wondrous Ocean Twilight Zone. Hello, students, the voice says. I'm the chief scientist on this research vessel, and these are some of the sea creatures we met today. They're also weird, a student exclaims. Isn't it fantastic, the scientist says. It's called diversity. And thanks to Mezzo, our underwater explorer, we can learn even more about how it keeps our planet's ecosystems healthy, including human ones. So that's who I am? Mezzo, the underwater explorer? A fish with its own flashlight? A pink glowing squid? A super pooping cleanup gang? Another student says excitedly, cool! The scientist laughs. Well. It's time to get Mezzo charged up for the next mission. Another adventure? 
I wonder where I'll be going this time and what creatures I'll meet. All I know is I can't wait to go where the wonderful weird things are. The end. Thank you for joining me, and you can always learn more about these weird and wonderful creatures at www.whoi.edu. Thanks. <laughs>